Do you guys know that we have an epidemic here in the Philippines? Yes. Some of you may be thinking, well, like, okay, HIV, AIDS. I don't know much about that, but what does that have to do with me? Can I have a show of hands? Who is knowledgeable or who knows about HIV and AIDS? So I want to tell you guys why I'm so passionate about HIV AIDS. Before I didn't really have any awareness. I had learned about STIs and different sexual transmitted diseases in school through sexual education. Do you guys have a program here? Yes. Great. I know it makes sound it makes you feel like but it's, you have to talk about it, it's a life, you know? It's something we just need to be aware of. We have to have that knowledge so that we can adequately look after ourselves. So anyways, I, I want you to look at it as if you're just looking after yourself because essentially that's what you're doing. You're looking after yourself and you're looking after others in that you're caring for your future partners or your current partner, your family, and your community as a whole. So in your own way, you're helping your community, you're helping the world, the universe rather. <laughs> Who has ever had a conversation with a loved one or a friend or a classmate about HIV AIDS? Just like, it doesn't have to be serious, just talking about it. are on the decline. Here in the Philippines, we're on the decline. Which is scary, you know? More scary is that one of the majority of the new HIV cases is from ages 15, 15 to 24. That's us. The point is, is that every time that we think Oh no, that doesn't happen to people like me. You're not actually looking after yourself. Imagine all of the time and effort and sweat and blood and tears you're putting into your college right now. So, do you guys know what it's like to get an HIV test? I, I can imagine in some of your minds, it's like, I think I'm gonna take all of my blood. <laughs> Who's scared of needles? <laughs> Me too. <laughs> but, okay, so I'm a spokesperson of Love Yourself PH, which is a volunteer run HIV AIDS organization based in Manila. And see, Mamang Veen here is the founder, and he's done amazing work. Give it a there was a mass testing event around different sides of the Philippines and I went in and I wanted to experience what it's really like to get tested. Because of course I can come up here and preach, get tested! But what if I don't actually know what it's about? I, I went in, I, I registered, and I know some of you are thinking, I think I don't want to go into the clinic, what if someone sees me there? Or, what if someone sees me on the list? I thought you made her call. <laughs> the centers that give free HIV testing are confidential. And you're saying, I'm like, I'm already confidential if I have to walk in there. Well, you don't actually put down your name. In my experience, I went down, I put down my mother's initial, my father's initial, a mixture of their birthdays and my birthdays and digits, so out came a cone. So, if you were to go and look on the list, you don't know who anyone is. Cool, right? So there's no nosy, chismoso person going to be like... <laughs> okay, so you don't have to be scared about that. That was, next few clinics are structured in a way to make you feel comfortable. There is no way well, in Anglo, in Mandaluyong for Love Yourself, the way that it's structured is you walk in the entrance, down a series of hallways after being registered, into a room, once you get your test, you exit out the back door. You don't do a walk of shame or a walk of like outside the front door where everyone's looking at your reaction. <laughs> so, I want you guys to start seeing HIV as 
as if you're getting your cholesterol. Although your cholesterol should be fine, we're all young here. But, you know, your mindset na, or diabetes, cholesterol, heart pressure, hypertension, I don't know. People aren't scared of those kinds of diseases in a way that like, I don't want to talk about it. But, I'm here to tell you that all of the labels that you've ever heard being attached to HIV and AIDS is mostly wrong. You don't have to be a member of the LGBTQ community. You can be a male, female, anywhere in between. You can be a child. HIV isn't choosy. You don't want to have your life cut short by something that could have been avoided by as easy as getting a tiny little test. And I've gone into my test and I'm scared at this point because I'm like, oh no, this is right, I'm gonna take my blood. I'm expecting like one of those big syringes with the needle and it fills up and you're like, mm, but you kind of want to watch, but not. <laughs> but you know what it was? Literally a pinprick on my finger. That was I dab a drop of blood into what looks like a pregnancy test for blood. That's it. Well, I'm sorry, Don't dread if it's reactive. Don't feel like, oh my god, my life is over. <laughs> uh, it's not, you know why? You go into a next series of screenings, a next series of tests to really verify and clarify your state. Okay, so you have that peace of mind that you know exactly where you're at. And then, did you know that there's medication available that you take one a day for the rest of your life and no commitment. But it's a commitment to yourself, so okay. You take one pill a day and then you can live like a normal person. And it's free! Did you guys know that? Oh, you did! Fantastic! <laughs> so have you guys got tested? Yeah. Really? Oh, I'm so happy. Singing out. Yeah, this was an applause. be like for the next generation. Pumanda ba kayo? <laughs> Not to put pressure, but you guys will shape our nation.